Hey everyone, I'm back. We have some brand new MLB The Show 21 news through the PlayStation blog, as well as a new feature premiere that just released. I want to let you all know that I will be covering MLB The Show 21 news all the way up till release, and then, obviously, I'll be playing the game once it does release in April. So, if you want to be caught up with all of the latest around MLB The Show 21, go ahead, leave a like on this video, and subscribe down below, turn post notifications on, so you are always kept in the mix. So here we go, just before we break down today's blog, as well as the feature premiere that we got, which is this short video here. I just want to let you guys know that you should be following MLB The Show on Twitter. If you want to be updated with all the latest happenings and news, follow MLB The Show on Twitter. If you don't have Twitter, just quickly, if you don't have Twitter, next best place, follow them over on Instagram. Okay, guys? I'm telling you, this is how I'm updated on all the latest happenings, so do yourself a favor. Go follow these guys, that way you're always kept in the loop and you know what's going to happen with this this year's game. You want to know uh, the latest features that are going to be in the game. There's it's It's been rumored and can now can actually confirm there's going to be create a stadium in the game. There's also going to be a new pitching mechanic. These are all things that you want to know. So subscribe to my channel and go follow these guys, MLB The Show, over on Twitter and Instagram. Do yourself a favor. Seriously, do it now. So here we are. This is the PlayStation blog that I was alluding to earlier. Uh, this is the latest, guys. This is this is uh, all on MLB The Show 21. Uh, it states, MLB The Show 21 presents Stunt on Your Rivals with Coach and Fernando Tatis Jr. Every Tuesday and Thursday for the remainder of February, we will be releasing a new Coach and Fernando Tatis Jr. video that showcases a different area of the game. That is what you you guys want to know right there. So for the remainder of February, expect two videos a week, MLB The Show 21 related. So that's exciting. So this is the feature premiere. I just want to highlight a few things. Here is the first thing I want to highlight. There are going to be new gameplay styles in MLB The Show 21. If you're not familiar, then um, we've had some different gameplay styles in MLB The Show 20, but it was related to presentation style. You know, you had fast, pl I think there's fast play, hybrid, and then the, like the full on broadcast mode. So we did have different styles of gameplay, but that was all based on presentation in the game. It wasn't actually based on gameplay and how you actually play, which is what this actually is. So we, I would say, MLB The Show 21 had different presentation styles. MLB The Show 21 is giving us different gameplay styles. So that is very exciting. Here they are. There's three of them. There's competitive, which is... Uh, well, I'll go ahead and just state what it says on the screen. User stick skills reign supreme. This is our online head-to-head -head default. So if you're on competitive or if you're, if you're playing online, you're going to be playing in competitive mode 24-7. Uh, uh, that's the default for uh, Diamond Dynasty and all of their online game modes. You're going to be playing on competitive. What I'm excited about as a franchise player, though, is right here, simulation mode. Uh, this is going to be very exciting. This is an authentic MLB experience that plays true to player and team ratings. This, thank you. Th this is what, I think this is what a lot of franchise players have been hoping for because uh, I think a lot of franchise players can agree that attributes aren't enough. Like player attributes, they're just they're just not enough. Some players get attribute hits after so many years, and I mean just like huge attribute hits. And then you get to a certain point in franchise, like when the game just simply does not play the way that it should. You know, all of a sudden, like a like Albert Pujols has freaking dipped and he's not even hitting like a 100 average i mean just uh, crazy out enormous things happen so i hope that you know those that play franchise year in and year out and for an extended period of time that this right here this gameplay style is going to help mitigate a lot of those previous issues that we've seen 
um, you know, in previous installments of the game. Casual right over here, guys, is an easier, fun pick up and play experience with an emphasis on learning the game. So I think that they promote it in this blog post as do you want or this feature premiere is, you know, you do want you want to hit dingers, you know, you just want to lay back, hit home runs. Uh, it's more about learning the the functions of the game, you know, the buttons, uh, you know, the different play styles. It's more about learning the players, learning the game than it is so being competitive. So, you know, you have that as well for all the casual players out there. But uh, I'm excited for, for the different three gameplay styles um, that it's, it's going to provide something we've never seen before. So we don't get much gameplay in this very first feature premiere that we get, but in the gameplay that we are provided, we see a few things. One of them, it looks like they're addressing the ball at the wall situation. If you've played previous editions of MLB The Show, you know that a ball at the wall, or if you're going to attempt to steal a home run, you're going to get a red circle that appears uh, you know, near the wall and also beneath your... Up against the wall on the warning track, you're going to get a red circle. And your job is to run over that red circle and hit R1 and hope that your player, you know, robs that home run. And also, you're also hoping that the ball is close enough to the wall where it's even playable. Sony San Diego Studios is addressing that. Now, it looks like what we're getting is three triangles is what we're getting. We're getting three triangles at the wall. And your job, it looks like, as, as, the, as the triangles or as the arrows kind of light up green, and then eventually, you know, kind of illuminate. That is your timing window to go ahead and hit R1 and attempt to rob that home run. We also see later in the video that there's another play at the wall. It looks like they're playing in the Oakland Coliseum where the ball is actually way up high on the wall and you are getting an indicator that you are not going to be able to catch this ball. The indicator is way up on the wall. The arrows are actually uh, highlighted red so maybe that is the you know the indicator that if you jump that's a mistake you know you're gonna make a mistake the ball is way too high up off the wall of course again we have the ball tracking system with the white streak across the screen uh, this is all optional guys i'm sure it'll be all optional in the settings you can either have it on or have it off but um yeah i'm glad that they are addressing this because so often in mlb the show 20 you know they, they spent so much time on the mechanic that they currently have, you know, with the ball tracking and everything. But so much of it was kind of animation issues, I want to say. It was a mixture of animation issues as well as the tracking system for, uh, you know, um, fly balls that are going to hit the wall, you know, balls off the wall plays. And so often you wouldn't get the right animation. The ball would pass your fielder and, you know, a ball that hit the center field wall, the left fielder the right fielder is the one who actually ends up fielding the ball by the you know by the time it's all over and 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 you know by the time that the play is over with so glad to see sony san diego studios addressing this something we also see in the features premiere is a hint a little easter egg that we're going to be getting a new pitching mechanic in mlb the show 21 and it resembles much of the MLB 2K series that originally came out on, you know, Xbox 360 and Xbox consoles way back in the day. I think that they, I believe they also had on like PS2, but um, we're going to be getting a new pitching mechanic. And it's like the analog mechanic uh, that many are familiar with, with the MLB 2K series. And this is going to be interesting because if this provides you a little bit more control over the pitching, uh, it's been rumored that there's also going to be perfect, perfect pitching, which, um, you know, as you guys all know, there's perfect, perfect batting, where if you perfectly square up a ball and you have your PCI in the perfect placement, you know, you rock at a ball with an exit velocity of way over 100. And a lot of the times, you know, if it's a fly ball, you end up hitting a home run. But perfect, perfect pitching has never been introduced into the game. And the community has wanted it ever since, you know, last year's game where Perfect Perfect batting was introduced. And um, this th this new mechanic kind of alludes to, yeah, there, there may also, we may, you know, we're, we're, we're addressing pitching. And pitching is going to play a large part in your success in, in next year's game. And that, that is the, 
feeling that I'm getting from Sony San Diego Studios with this, uh, you know, pitching mechanic kind of Easter egg that they decided to throw in here. So last thing before I let you go, guys, is um, in the PlayStation blog, we, we finally get the feature premiere schedule. So if you guys have forgotten, the feature premieres are basically short productions. They are these videos right here. You know, they, they are these videos right here, which break down a certain uh, a certain feature in, in the game. You know, obviously the, the first one was talking about different gameplay modes, you know, the balls at the wall, the new pitching mechanic that they alluded to. So that this is what the feature premieres are. They're very short. They're they're going to be a minute, maybe three minutes at tops. So they're going to be very short and short, just short productions with Coach and Fernando Tatis Jr. on whatever the latest is that they want to cover for that week in the game. So with that being said, this is the official schedule leading up to release in April. So first, we're getting tailored gameplay, pinpoint pitching, which is the new pitching mechanic. They're calling it pinpoint pitching and hitting engine updates. So they'll also be updating the hitting engine. Next on the list, so I'm going to assume this is going to be next week, guys. We're going to be getting information on their complete fielding overhaul. So all next week is going to be fielding related, uh, which is very nice. They're going to be going into detail on plays at the wall, and we're probably going to hear more about those, you know, those green arrows, those red arrows from earlier. Next on the list is ball player introduction, more variety and ways to play than ever before. And stay tuned to the channel because they actually released, I don't know if it was released early or, or what, but um, yes, they released a short feature premiere already about Road to the Show players being able to go into Diamond Dynasty. So I'll have a video on that. That's my other video that I'm wanting to get up today. So stay tuned for that. That will be, up, that will be uploaded today on the channel. Next on the list is Franchise in March to October empowers you to make decisions for the future. Um, they've been talking about franchise updates for years. I play, I like I said earlier on the channel in earlier videos, I am an offline guy and I am a franchise guy. So I want as many updates to franchise as we can possibly get. And I feel like franchise has really been the most neglected game mode uh, in MLB The Show. So there's some big improvements that need to be made to that game mode. So I'm hoping that this year um, is the start to a very bright future. Next, MLB The Show goes next gen. So we're going to be getting, uh, we're, we're probably going to be getting, you know, gameplay updates. Uh, it's probably going to be graphics related, I would imagine. We're going to be getting some information on graphical improvements, uh, smoothness, you know, um, uh, transitions and, and, um, and animations, you know, some animation transitions. I'm sure that we're going to be seeing that. I really enjoy the graphical improvements and the depth of animation that Sony San Diego Studios always manages to fit into their game, although they're such a small studio. So I'm really going to enjoy that week. And also, uh, lastly, the last bullet point we have here is Diamond Dynasty streamlined with new paths to rewards. Uh, they're finally, for all you DD players out there, they're going to have some variety to how you can earn rewards. That way you're not grinding for what seems like forever to get some players. So it seems like they're going to be, be providing some variety um, for you all. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you guys have questions on the three new game modes, the casual mode, the simulation mode, and the competitive mode, if you guys have questions on those gameplay styles that are being introduced to this year's game, Leave your questions down in the comment section below. You can also ask me about the new pitching mechanic, what I think about it, as well as if I think, you know, plays at the wall are going to be any better in MLB The Show 21 than MLB The Show 20, which let's hope uh, for all for all of our sakes that it's, it's improved. Let's definitely hope on that. And stay tuned for another video today that's going to be all about your Road to the Show player being able to transition to Diamond Dynasty and progress in both of those game modes, guys. That's awesome. I'll have a video up on that today, a detailed video. And until then, it's Tabor Time Out. Peace.